Hey guys, welcome back to Bronson's Math Club. Today's topic is how to solve proportions using equivalent fractions. So proportions is an equation that tells us that two ratios are equivalent. And today we're going to be solving proportions using equivalent fractions. Let's say that we have a ratio which is 4 to 6. Or we can represent this ratio in two other ways which is 4 to 6. 2, 6, or 4 over 6. Now we have another ratio. This ratio is 2 to 3. We can represent this also by um, 2, 2, 3, or 2 over 3, which is all, which all of these are pronounced as 2 to 3. So we have but these two ratios. And now, I'm going to say that these two ratios are proportional, okay? And I'm going to, um, there's two ways to write proportions, which are, uh, one way is to write as 4 to 6 is proportional to 2 to 3. So as you can see, I do have my two ratios, and they are uh, written in the form, and with uh, this four dots, I represent that these two ratios are proportional, okay? And now we have, now I can also write them in fraction form, so I can write it as 4 to 6 is equal to 2 to 3. Now let me tell you about equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are fractions that are equal. To get equivalent fractions, you must either multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the same number or divide both the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So we have the fraction 2 over 3. If I multiply both 2 and 3, by the number 2, I get the fraction 4 to 6. And 4 to 6 is a equivalent fraction to 2 to 3. So 4 to 6 is equal to 2 to 3. So now, remember, going back to our proportions, a proportion is an equation that tells us that two ratios are equal to one another. Okay? Let's do a word problem now. So a word problem here says, Jamie is inviting kids to her birthday party. The ratio of boys to girls is 3 to 4. If there are 15 boys at her birthday party, then how many girls are there? So now we have boys and we have girls. The ratio of boys to girls is 3 to 4. Now, 15 boys attend her birthday party and they want and they're asking us to find out the number of girls that attended the birthday party. So, we know that these two ratios are proportional. We can write it as 3 to 4 is proportional to 15 Two, and then we can uh, represent the amount that we don't know as a variable, which can be g. So 3 to 4 is proportional to 15 to g. Now we um, put these uh, ratios into fraction form. Three, 3 to 4 becomes 3 over 4, and 15 to g becomes 15 over g. Now we use the equivalent fractions to solve this proportion and find the missing number. Remember, when you have equal in fractions you can either find the equal in fractions by either multiplying or dividing um the by the same number so if i multiply 3 by 5 i get 15 so i have to do the same to the denominator i have to multiply 4 by 5 as well when when you multiply 4 by 5 now we know that our de new denominator is 20 and our numerator is, remains 15. So 15 over 20 is 15 to 20, which is our um, uh, ratio. So now we know that there 20 girls attended Jamie's birthday party. This is how you solve proportions using equivalent fractions. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.